The decision by the National Bank of Ethiopia to ban the use of cryptocurrencies in the Horn of African nation is not surprising. Several other African nations have warned against using cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin. Yeah. To get more insights why the central bank made this decision, I went to the National Bank of Ethiopia's headquarters and met the governor, Yenaga Dese. He says issues of regulation are one of the main reasons for the policy of no cryptocurrency in Ethiopia. Some countries support this currency, others don't support. Uh, in our case, we don't support this uh, virtual currency because our rules and regulations recognize paper money and others, not uh, virtual currency. That's number one. Number two, uh, we, we cannot, as, as, as the world knows, we cannot control or regulate these currencies. It's beyond the control of any country. So if you don't have any control or regulation power, uh, it's not important to give uh, any license or permission for this uh, business or activities. At the moment, several countries globally have given a green light for the use of cryptocurrency. And those nations have also prioritized the governance and regulation of new currencies like Bitcoin to be in place. But for Ethiopia, that time may not come anytime soon. And anyone who attests to using or mining cryptocurrencies here will face legal consequences, says the NBE governor. We don't uh, have any legal background to support this virtual currency. So if we found someone engaged in this cryptocurrency business, uh, we will go for how the business works and we'll do some review and investigation and uh, we will take some actions as well. This may not all be bad news though. Ethiopia says it will conduct further studies and might consider opening its doors to digital currencies in the future. For the future it depends on our research findings and depends on uh, um, the progress of this cryptocurrency across the world. Obscurity of the transactions, the inexistence mechanism to track them, money laundering, fraud and potentially illegal financial transactions are some of the challenges governments across the world still face. That is why many suggest a tight global regulation must be put in place first for countries to start exploring the full potential of digital money. Groom Dallas, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.